We on? Is this duck gonna be fucking things up? So are we doing the intro right now? Talk about some stuff. We're at the North Shore. You see this back here? It's a perfect morning. We're gonna maybe catch a salmon today. We wanna catch a trout. I catch a sucker. We got all kinds of bait. <laughs> Look at these pants. I am gonna make you the crown jewel of the North. Eggs Benedict. I'm Nate P. This is Shore Lunch. Am I supposed to look at the light? That's the big lake they call Gitchigumi, Lake Superior. I got you a present for today. Oh, you did? I did, yeah. Well, it looks like I've been, I've been betrothed upon a gift this morning. It's the Fisherman's Excuse mug, and it's full of ice cold beer. Ah. Line broke, no water in the lake, worms too small. This is obviously a non-fisher person that wrote this. Moon was full, fuck. Moon is full of shit right now. Who are these people? Who writes this shit? Wangham time of, oh, wrong time of year. I thought it said Wangham time of year. Eh, I don't believe any of these. Rig rundown, lure. Look at this thing, big hefty spoon. Look at how pretty it is. It's, it's got little purple dots on there. I don't know if they're, uh, oh, they're painted. It's just darling. Line, it's the same 17 pound test that I put on this sucker back when we were fishing for bass. Rod, bait caster. Usually used for bass, we're gonna use uh, this to catch a salmon today. Is it weird that beer tastes this good this early in the morning? <laughs> Casting out there. Oh. I love it up here. It's beautiful. Oh, fuck. I fucked it all up. My dad would call this knitting a sweater. It's a bird's nest. It's awful. God. What a dipshit. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. And what happens is your lure sinks all the way down to the bottom. I was meaning to change to a different tactic anyways. Ah, catch of the day. We're gonna use, you ever heard of these before? Wax worms. They're kinda cute. We were up late last night. We had a number of cold beers. I feel very nice today. Weather's nice, the breeze is down. Eric's shirt's buttoned where the, uh, if you, if you saw Eric's shirt right now, it's one of those things where the button's off by one. It smells good, looks good, ready to go. I'm being very quiet and still watching that bobber. It's really hard to see your bobber out there because it's so far out. But I did get a bite. I felt the bite in my fingy. There's a line where the mud from the river goes out. I'm trying to cast to that line. The only reason is because somebody said that that was a good place to cast. You could say one thing about Nate P is I cast really, really well. How scummy are my glasses? Leave that in the comments. Oh yeah, a little bit, that's okay. It's ain't LA, baby. All I wanna do is have a little fun before I die. Trying to look the cutest as I can. Whoa! Is that a fucking barge out there? Is that an island? I don't know, what do you think is on that boat? Maybe leave that in the comments. Let's get another uh, worm ski out there, huh? Worms have no, uh, no real flavor. I'm gonna try to get it way the fuck out there. Look at this weird icy formation. Jeez, that is about the neatest thing I've seen this morning. Oh shit, look at this. What's missing on the end of that hook? Can you focus on it? <laughs> it's missing the worm. Let me give you, let you in on a little secret. I don't give a shit if we don't catch any fish today. God, I hope we catch a fish. God, I'd love to catch a fish. I would love to catch a fish. Yeah, this is fucking bullshit, man. Oh, geez. The healing, disgusting powers of clown rag. Look at this thing. You're holding it backwards. Yeah. I know, I wanted to see the, so you could see the deep soiling. Well, we tried our best. Probably not in the cards today. Too much feed in the lake. That's the one we're gonna use today. I don't know what that means. This is a great mug. Thank you very much for this gift. I'm getting very hangus bangus. Why don't we go have a little shore lunch? <laughs> Who's hungry? Get a little mad, I'm so fucking hungry over here. I'd like to make for you today my world famous Eggs Benedict H2O. About that much. 
You ever heard of a double boiler? That's what we're gonna be doing today. We put enough water in this pan to heat up so we can whisk our eggs and make our hollandaise sauce and cook the eggs very, very gently. We're gonna do four egg yolks, okay? Four egg yolks, perfect. Now we're just waiting for this to heat up. What do you like to do when you're waiting for it to heat up? Stare in the middle distance a little bit. We're gonna try this burner, because this one ain't working for shit. I think this one's working way better. The reign of terror of these butane stoves, I think, is gonna be over with. It's a little windy, and these fuckers are not working at all. So we're gonna use uh, the backup plan. Back on? Back on, back in business. Oh, here we go. Now we're in business. You see these? Wind guards, like a proper stove. Oh shit, look. A big fucking wing. What's that sound all about? If it starts again, I'll just sing it, I'll hum to, along with it. Okay, we're gone. I hope this turns out good, I've never made it before. Mm. Teaspoon of vinegar, double boiler. Here you go. Start giving me butter while I whip this egg. Look at this butter guy go. Oh, what a guy. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> more, more, more. Get it right in there. Use your fingers. More, more, more. They're not scrambled. Uh-oh. It's, it's too hot. I mean, you could try yeah. it with some water. I think some water. I hope the end of this is just you eating a cold English muffin. <laughs> well, this is turning into holiday sauce, isn't it? Does it look like it? It's turning into hollandaise sauce, some miraculously. We've scienced this into hollandaise sauce somehow. How in the hell did this even happen? Look at it. It actually looks really good too. <laughs> Kyle, would you cut me open that lemon and squirt it in here? Yeah. Here. Sorry, this has been a fucking disaster and now all of a sudden it's like become hollandaise sauce. So I <laughs> what an idiot I am. There you go, thank you. Put a little lemon in there to brighten this up a little bit. I'm gonna salt this real quick and I'm gonna use a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. Oh God, it's fucking delicious. Poached eggs. I'm gonna crack the egg into this. The snotty stuff's draining out. So when I put this into the simmering water, it makes a beautiful poached egg. Once that's done, I'm gonna put this egg into this little ramekin here. Sometimes when you hear people poaching eggs, they're putting in a little bit of uh, vinegar into the pot, or they're putting salt into the pot. Nate P doesn't like to put shit in there. You're gonna wanna grab your slotted spoon, have it at the ready. When I put this egg into the vat of water, we're gonna let it sit in there for four minutes exactly. If we're simmering, I'm gonna just turn it down a hair. I'm gonna take the spoon, and I'm gonna create a vortex with this water. This is gonna help keep the eggs together. Egg, in. Next egg, in. Now gently make sure they're releasing from the bottom. We don't want any stuck eggs. Four minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. That's what we'll do. I think I'm gonna can these at three. These are gonna be done, they're floating. Okay, and we're calling it. We're gonna take these eggs out. We're gonna drain them. Okay, this here, then here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Butter in the pan. We're gonna put our English muffin in there. Just like so. I got this ham from uh, Flowery Hill Meats. Their ham is absolutely fantastic. We want to get these English muffins nice and toasty so that it can withstand the juice from the egg and all that beautiful hollandaise sauce that we're making. English muffin, English muffin, beautiful ham. I'm so hungry, I'm mad. Like so. Poached eggs here, poached. The holiday sauce goes on. What do you say about that? I could bathe in the sauce. Some paprika. Yeah. Boom, done. Oh, it's a perfectly poached egg. Everything miraculously worked out today. It's rich, <laughs> it's creamy. The ham's fantastic. This is really good. Fork ham's brought to you by Birchmark Beth. She's got weaver fever. <clears throat> Beth wanted us to say that you should support your local basket maker. You can go see Birchbark Beth. 
But if you're living out in Colorado, Washington State, California, Oregon, Wisconsin, Illinois, Maryland, Michigan, West Virginia, Virginia, the Carolinas, Alaska, Hawaii, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wisconsin, Florida, Oklahoma, or any of the other states, find your own local basket weaver and support them. Everything about this is, is awesome. And it's maybe because it was on the verge of falling apart, but every piece of this puzzle came together somehow, miraculously. You want a taste of this? <laughs> Look at the egg, it's fucking perfect. This episode is, has, the filming today has been weird, I guess would be the word. I'm the comptroller of the Clean Plate Committee. See, it's a fish. Huh? It's the only fish we've seen today. <laughs> we had an epic day today. It was so much fun. <laughs> what is this? Goodbye. <laughs> I got bad fishing in my system. Bluegill gonna be my victim. I got bad fishing in my system. Why I gonna be my victim? 